Hey guys, and welcome back. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing the bike path here at uh, the bay, Freitrich Bay, and uh, show you guys how, how it looks over here on a beautiful day. Hopefully no accidents, hopefully no stupid people riding like they don't know what the hell they're doing. So let's go. I have no idea how long this video is gonna be, but um, I'll show you as much as it takes. <laughs> So this place is located just north of uh, Ipanema, really easy to get to, pretty relaxing uh, trail to do for a bike ride or bike path. You can do one of those things if you want. And that's just some of the views that you can get. Christ statue. So they use this uh, this bay over many years to like for rowing and things like that. Temperature today is about. 25 Celsius, so like 84 Fahrenheit or so, something like that. I may stop for uh, coconut water, jeez. It's gonna be some tight squeezes, I think. <laughs> Yeah, I might stop for a coconut water, rehydrate, and stop off at some places to show you what kind of things that this uh, neighborhood has. I don't even know. I think the neighborhood is just called Lagoa, so Lagoon. I'm not sure. But it should be a fun ride. I've done this twice already, never filmed. I did film a little bit of it in one of my videos uh, going to the Vista Chinesa. So I didn't do the whole thing. I'm hoping to go all the way around. For me, it's the, it's the best bike trail or bike path you want to do. And they even have a baseball field there, guys. But this is the best uh, bike path that you could do. Lots of people chilling out. Beautiful, perfect weather in my opinion. Perfect, absolutely perfect weather. This answer? Well, sense of entitlement has returned. I don't get this. It's like, do you not hear the bell? Oh. Serenity now. Another sports court there. You'll see like these vendors all over the place as well. This is I'm just gonna stop here quickly and see what's going on. If I can.
So they do have uh, like these boats, swan boats you can take. Or one of these things like I mentioned. I don't know how much it costs to to book one. Let me just give a zoom over there. So, and you can paddle on the bay. I don't re recommend going inside. <laughs> as it's heavily polluted <laughs> over the years of uh, putting the sewage waste in there. All right, let's keep going. Today is a Sunday, so there's going to be a lot of people here, a lot of kids. Hopefully, like I mentioned, restaurant here. Cotton candy? Anybody? I'll get that one, dos. Just so you guys get a look. People doing uh, having parties here as well. You can set up though. It's free. Basketball court. Always make sure when you uh, do these types of things in the, in the hot sun, you have some water or stay hydrated. I had a ton before I came out to do this. A lounge here. I never actually had stayed, stopped at any of these like restaurants or whatever. They're probably expensive. And they always have these bike uh, stations. And there's the view from behind. I'm just gonna stop here and give you guys a quick look around, like a nice film little video of the, uh, the whole bay. breather. I think it's one of the be most beautiful spots to come to in Rio and it's a little bit quite a, bu a bit safer especially since you're on a bike so let's let's continue all right let's use some leg power to get up this Jesus get up. Car accident. Bumper to bumper accident. I heard from another YouTuber. He's traveling. He was traveling through Brazil, and he said when he's driving, 
Uh, Brazilians like to stay right up your ass, like bumper to bumper. No matter how much space there is or whatever, it's, it's <laughs> hilarious. I don't know how long this <laughs> trail takes. It, I hope it's not going to be an hour or something. I always say whatever it takes, I guess, to do a video. Oh, it's another one of those couples that uh, wants to ride together. Valeu. Amazing sights. Beautiful view. This this lagoon is massive. I I always like get you know surprised at how the the size of this thing is. It's crazy. Also, this is where a lot of the uh, the big clubs in Rio had started. They were originally rowing uh, schools or academies or whatever, like this one here, Botafogo. And uh, then they became soccer teams, you know, shortly after. But that's what they were renowned for. They were always like these rowing schools or whatever. There's the Christ statue, if you guys can see that, I'm not sure. You can see better now. Like I said, guys, highly polluted. This is not the place I would take my kid to learn how to bike ride, but. Oh my. <laughs> I think that's often gonna happen where I'll have to stop to get out of the way for people to get out of the way. So if you've not been here yet guys, it's uh Pretty cool place to ride your bike and get some exercise on a beautiful day. Like I said, it's relatively safe neighborhood. It's not Copacabana. It just has a lot of, you'll see a lot of cars passing by. It's a major hub. And you can do this uh, bike path any time of day, whichever day. But it's better in, during the day.
It's a great place to also uh, take some photos, you know. I think this place would be a lot better if you were able to go in the water. Probably the last time you were able to go in this water with it getting contaminated it was like 50 years ago or something, something like that. It's highly contaminated. Sewage. Um, I'm not sure if they've stopped putting the local sewage in there, but I doubt it. I heard in some other places they've stopped. Like, uh... Guanabara Bay, I think they've stopped. So that's good news. It just takes a long time for the... the nature to return. Okay, let's go. people in Rio guys just saying over the time <laughs> a little off topic but it's just something that I've, I've noticed more and more it's a lot of strange strange people all kinds of people there's good people but there's I, I honestly have to say there's probably more people that are just not good people what can I say I think that's because of the amount of time that I've been here now. Has really showed me It's really showed me the the real side of Rio, you know. And all my videos, I keep it real. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hide the fact that it is a tough place to live. Um, it really uh, zaps a lot of energy out of you some days, but you should be okay as long as you can deal with a lot of BS and try to enjoy the, the light side of the city and the, the good things that it has to offer. Here is the Vasco da Gama club. I don't know if you can see it from, from here. And it's also a rowing a rowing club. I don't know if they still have competitions or not. I have no idea. Good question. Still a little ways to go, but we're we're getting there. Yeah, it's 25 Celsius, but perfect. For me, perfect conditions. The sun is, isn't as strong as I anticipated because it's still winter here. She looks really tired. Sweating buckets. I should bring my drone here at some point. Do a video with the drone. Just that transporting uh, expensive stuff around this city is kind of like, you know, you just have to be careful. It's not impossible, but you gotta be careful.
be coming up to some, uh, what do you call it, like some chalet or something, some property. I'll put it down below exactly what it is. But it's quite beautiful. I think it's on the left hand side. Yeah, you can see it just over there. It's pretty cool. where the sewage goes. <laughs> I don't know if you guys caught that on the camera. It was a massive green pipe. And the ride keeps going. <laughs> If you guys have any questions about this place, always free, feel free to ask. Um, but my suggestion is go to Ipanem and take a bike from there or just walk up or something. It's like maybe five blocks from the, six blocks from the beach, I think. I'm already getting thirsty. Maybe I'll have some juice later or something. Uh, so we're coming up to that property. There it is. Try and get a good shot of it, but it's not the easiest. Bike riding and filming is honestly a real, it is quite tough to do, especially when it's a busy uh, location. I don't recommend it, but there's, there's the place so to get by these people. When you're riding and you're filming, it's kind of like dodging at the same time. People and other bikes like these ones. Jesus. This guy's like zipping through like it's a race. <laughs> Quite honestly, you know, it's annoyance. But I learned to live with it and keep going and try to not get frustrated. I think there's a park up ahead here. I'm not sure, I don't remember. I have to remind myself I haven't been here in months. soccer field and <laughs> let's just stay right in the middle I honestly think no one knows which side they're supposed to be on sometimes <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, this is a helicopter pad. Get para para tirar foto? Or no? Huh? Already pedaled all that way. This is the little park I was talking about. 
people have like birthday parties and things like that. And I'm always confused as to which way I have to go. I'm gonna go this way. And line up for the bathroom. That could have been bad. I'm gonna go this way. Close to the water. Yeah, so here's like the park I was talking about. This is the best place to come to, in my opinion. Just gonna stop. Just give a look around. A lot of people out today, for sure. area here, picnic area. Now where are we going here? I think that is nowhere, so this way. And I got a good bicycle today with working brakes and everything. Working brakes and comfortable. I think I wouldn't have done this uh, video with an electric bike. I think it would have been way too it zips like crazy. Like you just put a little bit of um, pressure on it or whatever, and it just like it takes off. Doing it this way is a lot better. Oh, it looks like a little fair here going on. Uh, I don't know if I can get in there. Maybe I'll come here after. Santa. Jesus, three people blocking the way. Unbelievable. And this is the Flamengo uh, training headquarters, I believe. Yeah, it is. You can see the logo there. Bumpy ride. Kids. Huh? 
So I'm nearly getting, coming to the end of this trail, like 25 minutes in. Maybe I'll come back to that, I'm not sure. Whoa. It will be in the moment. Yeah. It's okay, it's okay. Alright. The guy was coming right around the corner and I had to stop. Otherwise I would have smacked into the guy. We're still going. <laughs> Foot is killing me. See what I mean, guys? These guys are zipping through like crazy. At least the camera didn't break or anything like that. But my foot is killing me. I'm just gonna take a little breather here. Alright, let's finish the ride in one piece, hopefully. nearly at the location that I want to leave the bike across this bridge over here another property. I don't remember what it is. Hurt my foot bad too, by the way. A little cut. This place is good looking. Beautiful. These, these curves are really uh, dangerous, especially if someone's zipping by, as you guys saw in the video. If I had not stopped, probably would have had a bad accident. The sensor, got him. Final stretch here, guys, and I'll finish off the video oh, with a painful foot. Fuck. Some of these people don't give a rat's ass. Get the fuck you, motherfucker. people man uh, yeah like I was saying the guy was zipping really fast on an electrical bike and like I said if, if he if I had not stopped because I didn't see him coming around the corner I would have been <laughs> crashed into This is, I think, Ipanema again. Opa! These people don't pay attention, man. The dog was really close to my bike. <laughs> So 
so many s stupid idiots on the streets, man. Granted, he was a kid, but <laughs> besides that. Jesus. This will complete the trip for today, guys. I'm back to the area to lock up the bike, as you can see. And I'll, I thank you guys for watching. If you watched all the way to the end, please hit the like. It really would help out a lot. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care for now.